Pack Racing has been extremely fortunate to develop a, a lot of great relationships at, at King of the Hammers and, and uh, the, the teams and the people there have really helped us grow our business, uh, give us feedback, uh, allow us to develop new products, give us ideas. We partnered up with them probably four or five years ago and you know have been running their products ever since. You know they, they were here trying to help all the racers and that's why I love partnering with Pack and other companies like that. You know, when they're here, they're supporting us, they're helping us tune our cars, you know, that's that's what's really important to me and, and the involvement. I partnered up with Pack Racing Springs as a sponsored driver and, and uh, really went to Pack uh, because they offered something no one else did, these longer, lighter rates uh, that were needed for these Ultra 4 cars. No one offered them um, and Pack was willing to make them. So uh, that also was something that attracted me to the brand, the fact that they were able to come support the racers in the field, be here with product and help with tuning. Uh, you just don't find that from everybody. And they do all of our valve springs for our powertrain, and then they do the coil springs on all the cars, and uh, they also do the sway bars and, and torsion bars and stuff that we use. And over the years, man, it's just been this killer relationship. You know, we've worked on sway bar development, and um, you know what? What he, a lot of people probably don't know because they can't see under the valve covers is that we've got their valve springs in there, and. You know, these cars are sustaining five to 7,000 RPMs for eight hours. Like, it's constantly up in that high RPM range. And when we made the switch over to pack, we eliminated all of our valve spring issues. We're out here torture testing in the King of the Hammers. There's, there's no harder or rougher environment to, to torture test your product. And for us to roll that down to, to the general consumer that's wanting to put them on their daily rock crawler or you know their Jeep JK or the JL or whatever, whatever they're putting it on, that has to give them a lot of confidence that if we can't break them, then the chances aren't great that somebody else is going to be able to. It's definitely a torture test running the King of the Hammers and, and all these other races that we do. So it's, they're race proven and you know, it proves it for everybody else in the industry, you know, for what, if it's your UTV or your race car or your, just your daily driver. They do, they do very nice products and stand behind their stuff. You know, our whole program is definitely built around products that are the best and built in the USA. It's very important to us that we're not running, you know, foreign junk on our race cars because we need the best product. I learned that early in my career that if you run junk product that, that it's going to reflect the way your race goes and you're going to end up DNFing. I can't stress enough how much building something in the States with, you know, material that's sourced in the States um, really matters at the end of the day. The quality just isn't there from uh, the overseas products and, and we've seen it time and time again. And, and no matter how good of a driver you are and no matter how good your car is, it's only as strong as its weakest link. And you know, if that comes in a, a broken coil spring, you know, that's a, that's a game under right there. I'm still a rec wheeler. I mean, my, my family fun is to go camping and we take our, you know, 1972 CJ5 that turned into a CJ6 because of all the fun you have building them up. And, you know, you don't want to work on those all the time. You kind of want to get them dialed in and then go enjoy them. And, you know, racing is the ultimate proving ground. So going out there and, and doing this with them and then knowing that it's going to be good for your, for your rec wheel or trail wheel or stuff is, is kind of a nice, uh, nice thing to know. I think the biggest thing about building a relationship at King of the Hammers uh, is, is 10 years of that relationship uh, giving us that feedback really helps us with the products to the sportsman racers and developing what do we need to bring out to support at King of the Hammers, what do we need to do for the other events around the country. That, that long history of developing a, a relationship with a lot of the top drivers has really helped us uh, provide.